was first fired by the sanitation department with, and I quote, the concurrence of the city manager's office. After that, we noted an appeal and had an appeal before the personnel board, which consists of, at that point, five independent people who had no contact with the original firing. Now, I prepared the case and investigated and presented evidence at that hearing. Now, the hearing before the personnel board turned out favorably towards my client. He was, the hearing board said that he should be reinstated. Now, Mr. Hurst then takes this advice of the personnel board and disregarded it and essentially fired my client again. My contention is, is that when the city acts, it cannot act like a private employer. It is acting as a government, and as such must afford someone due process, at least the minimal standards of due process, such as a right to a hearing, to confront your accusers, to present evidence in your own behalf. Now, this was done for my client at the personnel board, but this board's decision was disregarded. Therefore, I feel my client was afforded none of the protections that the federal constitution grants him.